Hey there, I'm Dr. Jeff Williams. I wanted to drop this video here because I wanted to share some exercises with you for your low back that are collectively known as McGill's Big Three. Now they're called McGill's Big Three because they're named after the esteemed and uncomparable Dr. Stuart McGill. First, why would we prescribe McGill's Big Three exercises? Well, with 31 million Americans suffering from back pain at any one time, that's a lot. It's important for us to tell you what is helpful and what's not very helpful. For instance, when a disc is herniated, a common response might be uh, the tendency to stretch your back, thinking maybe that'll help ease it up some. However, that can often be one of the worst things you can do for it. Now stretching may be helpful, but it must be in the right direction and in the right way. Otherwise, you aggravate the condition and you make the pain worse. Now Dr. McGill recommends endurance exercises so that we can help patients avoid awkward postures that can lead to the onset of pain. Proper movement comes from endurance. And now with that in mind, Dr. McGill put his big three together to build spinal stability, and to build true endurance. Now our first of the three exercises is the McGill Curl Up. Step one, lie on your back and extend one leg and bend the knee of the other leg. Step two, put your hands under the lower back to maintain the natural arch of your spine. Step three, pull your head, shoulders, and chest off the floor. Just like if you were all locked together, if all those areas were locked together. Lift them all up as one unit. Now don't tuck your chin or let your head tilt back. Now hold that for 10 seconds. Slowly lower yourself back to the ground and then do it again with the other leg bent. See, not so hard. Now our second exercise is the side bridge. Step one. Step one for this one is to lie on your side with your forearm on the floor and your elbow underneath your shoulder. Place your hand on the opposing shoulder to stabilize your torso and pull your feet back so the knees are at a 90 degree angle. Now step two is to lift the hips off of the floor and hold that for 10 seconds, trying your best to maintain a straight line from your head down to your knees. And make sure the hips are in line with the rest of the body. Then do the other side. Here's a tip, a pro tip if you will, for an extra challenge. Straighten the legs instead of bending them, just like you see Jenna doing right here. Now the last exercise is called the bird dog. You'll see why it's called the bird dog here in just a minute. Step one is to get on your hands and knees on the floor. Step two, raise the left arm while at the same time extending your right leg backwards until both are parallel to the floor. Ensure that the hips are aligned with the torso and, know, and that they are not tilted to one side or the other. Now hold this for 10 seconds and then repeat on the other side. Again, now these are meant to specifically help you build that spinal stability, that endurance, and that core. Okay, so this, these exercises are just the best at strengthening and stabilizing that low back. It doesn't all come from the back, lots of it comes from the abdomen, the stomach, the core. So there you go. That was a simple three exercise little routine that you can do so easily at the house with no equipment required, nothing, just your initiative to get it done. That's about it. For uh, Creekstone Integrated Care here in Amarillo, Texas, I'm Dr. Jeff Williams. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share this. We'd love if you'd subscribe to our channel. We're going to try to start doing more and more of these videos for you so that we can help you manage your condition at the house. Thanks again.